All right, guys, our quest continues for finding the best products for your van. And right now we are at goal zero, and I want to find out all about their solar panels in order to power all the fun stuff, maybe it, whether it be kids' electronics or the cooler to keep all their juice boxes cold. We are here at Goal Zero with Dave to show us all of the cool stuff that they have to offer and how this can work for your particular build. So, how does this work? I don't. So pretty much what we got here is, these are some of our bigger battery packs. We call them the Yetis. We have them in a bunch of different sizes, so depending on how much power you need, uh, we can kind of cater the Yeti to that side. We also have expansion ports. He's hooking it up. Yeah, some smoke trail mix winning. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta keep the kids happy. <laughs> These lithium power packs normally don't like to see lead acid batteries, but we actually have new brains called the Yeti Link that can attach uh, lead acid batteries just through an expansion port. So we can actually expand our capacity by chaining on tank batteries so we can get essentially as much runtime as we want to have. We can also put this, this uh, Yeti Link into car mode so it'll only charge when it sees alternator voltages. So pretty much what we're doing there is we're not touching your dual battery system and we're not siphoning anything out of your, your other lead acid batteries if you don't want them to be drained. So you can keep those kind of independent or you can integrate them and chain them on for more capacity, depending on your need. We love versatility around here. We're all about making it modular, versatile. So that's cool. So then we can hook this up to power source and yep. then just have this. So if we're gonna take this power unit out to another vehicle, I'm gonna go put this in my boat. Exactly. Then I can do that and not have to worry about going and undoing nuts off the bat battery or pulling anything exactly. like that off. It's I'm just literally I'm unplugging plug. it and, and running with this yeah. thing. So it can move from, from vehicle to vehicle. It can go inside your home, run your fridge if the power goes out. Uh, you know, it's just really, really versatile. It okay. goes, goes tailgating, uh, to picnics, all that good stuff. So now like this size here, not running it off our car batteries, like say we were to run like an ARB fridge or even a laptop, something of that nature, how long is that going to last? Let's say like we're in this kind of condition. We don't have a ton of sun, right. we're not charging so off even, the sunlight. Even though we can charge from the alternator and get a nice strong input, or, and we do have solar ports, if I just took this Yeti out uh, with, with one of the the Dometics, maybe like the CFX uh, 60 or 70. Um, this thing will run on a day like today where it's not terribly hot. It'll probably run for four to five days. Oh, okay. uh, no problem without any input. If you know if it's really sunny, if you're out camping in the middle of summer, you can you can drop that down. That compressor is going to have to come on a whole lot more. So you're maybe getting two or three days. Uh, before but if it's going to really be hot, now we're able to charge it off there. But, but now, yeah. So exactly. when you said four to five, I was worried you were going to say hours, and I was going to be like, man, you're juice. Yeah. I'm going to have some pissed off kids at that <laughs> point right there. You nope. know. So all weekend long, the ice cream stays frozen, the drinks stay cold, and the kids See, stay happy. Yeah, because then I'm happy, they're happy. <laughs> it all works out. So now, what's going to be the ideal solar panel and then what we're going to want to be able to give this a good charge? What size solar panels are we going to want? So with, with the full 1,000 watt, the kilowatt Yeti here, um, you would want to pair it usually with a couple hundred watts worth of solar panels. So we do have something like this, uh, you know, we have a 100 watt solar panel um, that you can hard mount to your roof, but it's actually a little more efficient. If you use the kickstand and you track that solar panel with the sun, you can actually increase your solar production by up to 40%. Like so usually what I do when I'm when I'm pairing these into a vehicle and even then we have a Dometic, we have a bunch of lights, we want to charge all of our little devices, uh, and even have uh, you know blenders running and, and some good power uh, usage. That, that 200 watts worth of solar usually keeps up with all of our needs. And then we also have that backup of the alternator charge integration. Thing that so let's say we have a nice sunny day and I'm going to put my little tank down for a second. So if we have a nice sunny day, what's the time? that it's gonna take. Let's say we drain this totally down overnight. Everybody was on their electronics, we got crazy. So 
this battery is totally dead. Totally if, dead. If we take 200 watts worth of solar, so two of those panels so that we were talking about, so much. it's gonna take. It'll take pretty much all day to run. Okay. Um, so it'll it'll take about seven or eight hours in the sun to make sure that it's totally dead. Now, and like I said, if we're, if we're turning the panels with that, you know, we can we can shorten that time. <laughs> okay. And then the difference, so now that's 100 watt solar? Yep. And now these two over here that we have, what are those going to be? So those, are, that's a briefcase format, so it's really nice and portable, just folds okay. up, has a little handle, that's also 100 watt. So it's, okay. it's the same wattage, it's just in a slightly different format. And then other than that, we actually have a, a cloth panel that folds up really small. So if, so if space is a, a valuable commodity for you okay. in this situation, then the smallest panel we have is no matter what. Alright, so all of them are going to be the 100 watt charging panels, just doing it in different configurations. Just different, different, different configurations, and you can chain them together. So we do have we do have combiner cables that you can put up to four of those panels together. Okay, so if we did want one mounted up on our roof, and then wanted to take two of them, to, now I can chain those together then to increase the time, that, or decrease through the time, in order that it's going to take to charge that. Okay, so now we have different sizes that I'm looking at here. So I'm seeing this one we have here and then a smaller one yeah. here. Now what what are those rated at? What's going to be the big difference between these three? So really, um, this one, 1,000 watts, whereas that little guy right here is, is only a 400 watt uh, lithium. Okay. So it's got a 300 watt inverter instead of a 1,500 watt inverter. So it really depends on the devices that you're running. Okay. You know, if, if you want the microwave going, you need, you need to get the big Okay. If you're just charging devices, running some speakers, some LED lights, you know, small basic stuff, then the Yeti 400 is okay. a great uh, guy. Not so portable like a little lunchbox, you know, you can just kind of carry it around wherever you're going. And now is this the same one, just in um, a different configuration? Yeah, so so that's a thousand. We do have a big daddy over here that's okay. actually a three thousand. So three okay. kilowatts worth of power is is a phenomenal amount of lithium power. It comes with a little roll cart dolly, so you can just roll it around because it is almost a hundred pound pack. Um, but with with our link module here, now we can get that capacity by adding those lead acid factors as well. So okay. so you got the versatility of saying, so do I want it all in one, different options. or do I want to, to build myself as I go and figure out where, where my balance of power is. And I think that that's what, you know, originally draw, um, draw, draw, that doesn't sound right. Drawn, drew, drew, see, I don't know. I'm not drawing anything and I didn't draw, drew anything. You know, who knows? That's why what really interested me in this was the being able to change it up and add things to it depending on what your needs are. I'm not stuck with like, okay, one thing said, done, over, like, ah, and now it's not If enough. something changes, you have to go buy a whole new product. Right, yeah. and that's what I yeah, was really digging on this. Not to mention, I'm like, hey, this is kind of neat. Like, it's because a lot of times when we do go out to the lake, the kids are like, like, all right, you need to take a nap and relax. And I'm like, man, I can power stuff out on the boat and have a good time. And, you know, I like that. outside, turn on a fan, keep the kids cool. Yeah. Ice cream ready to go. You like ice cream? She likes ice cream. She's being a trooper. It's cold. She does not like the cold. So, other than this, then, I mean, I see we have a ton of products behind us. We've got all sorts of stuff so, all the way down the single phone chargers. Let's go check that out and see what else we have back here. Sweet. Before we jump over to all the awesome accessories, this is the foldable panel here. That is awesome because really this looks like this would fold up and store in one of the seat backs. You know, extremely easy. I mean, super small. That's little. So that's really nice so that if you're wanting to take it on the run, on the go, that's giving you a ton of different options right there. Yeah. That is and you can you can strap that, you can carry a beer that right to your boat. So while you're cruising around on the lake, you got that solar charge. Still coming even charging really in, yeah. And you don't even have to unfold it all the way. Say you just yeah. wanted to do a little bit of a charge, you unfold it halfway and run it. Yep. So it still works. Yeah, very cool. Now, real quick though, I see this awesome little one here. Yeah. So now what is this one gonna be designed? So so this one and the one below it are both lead acid batteries. So okay. where we had lithium and 
the other ones. Uh, you know, lithium has a longer life to it, uh, a stronger depth of discharge, but there are advantages to lead acid as well. And, and mostly in that it's a replaceable battery for, for a lower price point. Okay. So now, anytime this battery dies, and you know, three, five years down the line after you've been using it a whole bunch, you can just pop the top off, pull the battery out, get a new one in, okay. and you keep on cruising. So this little 150 right here is good for like small device charging, mostly USB stuff, keeping tablets and laptops going, keeping your cameras and your drone batteries charged. Um, so great little guy here. The 400, you can actually chain on other lead acid batteries, uh, okay. just like we were talking about with that link module. But now you can do it super easy because it's already got a lead acid battery in there. And this one here, what is our price point on that? What are we price looking point, at? Normally this is $220. Uh, we do have a sale through New York at 150 Alright, so we'll make sure we include a link to all their information so that if you guys are watching this, want to get hooked up on this awesome deal, you can. But before we go and run, let's go check out all these accessories. We're checking out all the rest of this cool Zero stuff. You can see that all of these are really cool. Look at this awesome light candle. We can unhook this and we could hang this out. So super cool. I like that. You could use these as camp lights, rope them around your canopy, you know, off of um, your awning. Thank you. <laughs> gotcha. Um, yeah, you know, like those things, what are they called? You know, that come off the side of your, your van. So um, a lot of cool different lighting features. Tell me, I mean, a lot of different accessories yeah. that you guys. So, so the do. light you were showing, it's a 12 volt light. It does, it does need to be plugged into our, our battery packs. And as you can see here, we have two of them chained together. So you can actually chain eight of them in a line. So if you set up base camp and uh, and you just want to light the whole freaking place up, you just create a giant line of light with only one plug. In. So that's okay. really nice and easy. So what is going to be the benefit in running like this sort of light versus just? Um, a generic light that you would find, you know, on Amazon or anything like that. Is there going to be a benefit? We're not using a plug on it, so I know that, but... Right. So, so the great thing about these, you know, we talked about the chaining. Okay. Uh, it has high and low settings, so, okay. so it's super, super energy efficient. Um, comes in a couple different formats. We can actually twist that lampshade, flip it around. Ah, um, very you know, cool. So a nice smaller format, especially for, for packing it in and out. It also, around. to me, that would work really nice with them is like, say, if you wanted like a directional reading lamp. Yes. You know, something of that nature where it's yes. going to be, okay, we're done outside, let's, you know, or Absolutely. something of that nature. Absolutely. So I like yeah. that. That's so, very cool. So great, great little light. If, uh, if, you, you, if you need a base camp, uh, they stretch a real long way and then, you know, they'll run forever on one of these battery packs. Okay. And then other than that, you know, we have all sorts of cool little lanterns. We make just a ton of these guys. Okay. You can do single side, you can do double side. It charges off of the USB and it can charge your phone through a USB. Okay. Well. okay. So that has a small battery built in. Exactly. It. Okay. We've got magnets on this thing. So you can just, if you're working under the hood of your, your truck or something, you just slap that right to the hood. Okay. You don't need to figure out how to, you know, hang it or anything. Thing or hold anything in your mouth. It's a um, nice magnetic so base. Super great for, for actually working on your vehicle. Okay. Um, other than that, you know, we have we have little lanterns that are that'll just fit in your pocket. So we have it's got a flashlight on it. It's got lantern mode. You can dim the lantern down if you want. And once again, USB out charges your phone. Okay. So anytime you're in a pickle, we want to make sure that you can communicate uh, in emergency situations. So almost everything we have is a USB port. Okay. Uh, from there, we do have just little phone chargers, little battery packs that, that okay. you can charge off the USB. So that can be off of any of our lanterns, battery packs, or our solar panels all have built-in USBs to them. So, you know, something like this, a Nomad 7, will charge your phone as fast as the wall, or it can charge up one of our little, little battery packs. These guys are super rad, nice and durable, pliable, ultra light, so you can actually just strap it to a backpack, go hiking, plug in your phone to the USB port on the back, and, and while you're charge. hiking, you're charging. Very um, nice. We got a little kickstand, so you can actually angle it towards the sun, and if you're an ultralighter, it's just magnetically attached, so you can ah, pull okay. it right off. So, once again, we try to give you the, the best of every option we can think of. Some of our bigger solar panels, you can actually chain them together, so there's okay. an extra port on there, so you can, if everyone's got a solar panel on their backpack, then you get back and like, hey man, we gotta charge up the big battery pack real quick. You just chain them all together, plug it in, and, and now you have this, this module. I wanna see the chain going while you're hiking. 
<laughs> while they're all connected you're together. All walking yeah, right you're all next walking to each other. next yeah, to each other doing the hike. You know, go. so very cool. A ton of different options. And we will be sure to, like I said, we'll put a link down below. That way you'll be able to check out all the options, go directly to their site, and take advantage of that sale that they're having through Memorial Day. Memorial Day. So you guys got like a week from tomorrow to hit that up and save that money. So once again, thank you very much for walking us through all of your guys' awesome products. And um, I think she needs to go back to the van because she's freezing. All right, guys, thanks for watching.